the 100 back, another 110.32, pretty decent time as well. Yeah. And we had to find the race. Are you pleased with that? Yeah, I'm pleased with the time. I'm, at the moment I'm doing really hard training, so to come here and maintain EV pace is really, really good, so I'm really pleased with it. You seem like you're riding so high on confidence. I mean, you, you had the 109 at the British Champs, which was a European record, and the two short course world records as well. I mean, what do you put the form down to at the moment? Um, well, I've been upping my training and doing more hours and a lot more s and stuff too. So I think all of that put together and kind of the help of my coaches and parents is also coming along. So. You're swimming so well at the moment. Do you wish that the Paralympics was maybe two or three weeks away because you're, you're so such good form? Well, I'm, I'm quite glad that it's also um, quite a while away, so it gives me a lot of preparation time. Because if I manage to do times like this now and maintain it now, then um, making the training a lot harder. And hopefully, in a few months' time, I can hopefully taper and perform even better. With this 100 back, do you think about the world record at all? Because obviously, you've got that European time at the champs, and it's not that far away. You're edging closer. Does that cross your mind at all, or are you just focused on performing? Um, well, at the moment, I'm just trying to focus on the small little things, making sure that, especially my turn and my finish are correct at the moment, because um, they're not the best right at this moment, so I'm working on it in training. So, as soon as I get those finished, hopefully that can take me for millisecond, which can hopefully get me in the world record. So.